Hi, this is Deacon Jeff. Today, let's talk about Lent. It is hard to believe how fast the year is going by. Seems like the Christmas season just ended, yet Lent begins this week with Ash Wednesday. Lent is a time for prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Together, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are called the three pillars of Lent. Now we've talked about them from a traditional standpoint, but let's look at these three pillars in a slightly different angle. Let's look at them from a point of view summarized by this teaching. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 40, we hear Jesus say, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. From this perspective, prayer will go even deeper. It will be following Jesus' example of how he prayed. Jesus loved the Father, and prayer was a way to stay connected with the Father, sharing his thoughts and feelings while communicating in a very intimate way. Jesus also prayed for the welfare of others, even his enemies. He asked God the Father for advice, and more than asked, he followed the advice he received. For us, this means praying for others, even those we do not get along with. It means seeking out God's will when you have a decision to make. It means calling on God to give you strength and perseverance. It also means accepting your cross. We all have inevitable trials in life. Face them with grace and dignity, not with anger and despair. This is a gift God can give you. Just ask. Fasting goes beyond giving up a favorite food or dessert for six weeks. It goes beyond abstaining from meat. Again, it goes deeper. We can fast from unchristlike behaviors. We can fast from quick judgment. We can fast from disrespectful language and actions. We can fast from selfishness. Pope Francis offers some advice on things we should fast from. And this is not the usual giving up of sweets or our favorite TV show. Instead, he's asking for a fast that we should do throughout the year. He says, fast from hurting words and say kind words. Fast from sadness and be filled with gratitude. Fast from anger and be filled with patience. Fast from pessimism and be filled with hope. Fast from worries and trust in God. Fast from complaints and contemplate simplicity. Fast from the pressures of life and be prayerful. Fast from bitterness and fill your heart with joy. Fast from selfishness and be compassionate to others. Fast from grudges and be reconciled. Fast from words and be silent so you can listen. This leads us to almsgiving. Now to be clear, financial contributions to charity are good and necessary. However, God calls us deeper. Find ways to become directly involved. See the faces of those who need help. Be the hand that reaches out to those in need. This is what Jesus did, and it is what he calls each one of us to do. Direct service to others is following the example Jesus gave when he, the master, washed his disciples' feet. And he told them, what I have done for you, you also must do. When you look at it this way, almsgiving really is showing your faith through your works. It is putting love into action. This Lent, shake things up. Change from your normal Lent routine and dive deeper into the infinite ocean of God's love. When you do, you will experience the refreshment that can only come from the living water Jesus offers to you. May God's grace and peace be with you.